Hello everyone, welcome again. Uh, today I'm going to show you another project in Java. So this is called the Sport uh, Online Sport Shop. So let's run the project and check the functionalities how it's working. Uh, before we start demo on the project, let's talk about the technologies that we are using in this project. So uh, this is based on core Java. Uh, this is based on the core technology is Java. We are using J2E. So that's a using JSP servlets to manage the backend is using MySQL and uh, we are using MySQL void range to uh, for the GUI purpose and it's following the MBC architecture so you can see and so using the MBC architecture and deploy on the Tomcat server and so using the Tomcat server to run the application and uh, we are using POM to manage dependency, which means it's a Maven project, so it's using the Maven also. So uh, now I'm going to restart my server and I'm going to run the application again. I'll just to stop the server and select my deployed as a Tomcat 8.0 and click on that. So automatically it will run in the, my browser and this will be your home page so you can see uh, this is slider it's no slider it's a background image right there so it's using uh, some product categories so the product category is will display and the data will, data will come from the database this category data will come from the database table so if you want to change the backend this data will be changed and the feature product here you will get the some product list <coughs> so in the grid view and if we add more product it will display here so after the login as an admin so if i talk about the data uh, the actors in the application so mainly there are two types of actors so if i check the database and then the database if i view the user data so you can see the role id one and role id two Role ID 1 will be always for the admin user and 2 will be for the customers or you can say the end user. So let's log in as an admin and check all the functionalities how the things are working. So I already we have credentials in this site in the browser and I'm log in as an admin and click on to that add category. Right now you can see there are two categories are there. So if I want to as an admin want to add more category, I can add it. So for example, I might like add a category in the gym. And I select uh, some image for that category. So I need uh, so I'm gonna add this product. So this is testing and click on save. So the product is saved successfully. Now check the category list and now you can see the new category is, is there. So now if I move to the home page also, so the category should be displayed here. You can see the new category here. And uh, let's add some product as an admin. So admin also can and admin also can view the list. And also you can perform you can perform the edit operation on this list. So if you want to edit this, you can edit it. So when you're going to edit, you need to choose the image again. And uh, if you want to remove, you can just click on this plus icon and delete the entry. And let's add some product in this category. So when you click on this add product as an admin and it will ask you to select some category. So let's select my gym category. And so for example, I want to add gym t-shirt. So it should be gym t-shirt. For example, for price, it's 200 and choose some image of the t-shirt if I have one. Yeah, it's there. So I select one t shirt, uh, demo, enter some description, click on the save button. So I'm gonna click on the save button, data save successfully, and I check the product list. So you can see the new t shirt out there. So t shirt is there. So now you can perform the same operation if you want to edit that this uh, t shirt or you can edit, uh, you can edit it. For example, I'm gonna edit the name. So, t-shirt for men, someone entered for men, uh, choose the image again for this. 
So when we are going to perform the edit operation, we have to choose image also every time to move from there. Let's click on the save. So now check the product list and you can see the name is updating now. So at the home page also that the same uh, product will display and also admin have one authority admin can check the booked list it means uh, whatever the product booked in the from the front end you can check all the lists here now uh, let's log out as an admin and check our new product is displayed at the front page yes it's a displaying on the front page so and now let's talk about the end user customer how the end user customer can uh, interact with the application so you can directly open the urls you can check the category so when you click on the category and will redirect on the category page so right now uh, in this football category uh, category there is no record so if you click on the hockey you will get one record and when you click on the gym and just recently added product is there you can add more product it will display there yeah. so um, you can explore the product as in category wise if you want to select the product as an individual message so just move to there and select this product for example so like this so a user have to sign up or log in, in the application to book the product or buy the product so let's sign up as a new user so i'm going to use as a new new customer so enter the username and password and I enter the login ID as an email and the password is a demo at the rate 123. And demo at the rate 123. So the password combination should be like uh, there should be some um, alphabet characters in the special digit. So for example, if I must say you demo at the rate 123, the first letter will be capital. And then special character you can use this. This is the format that we are using here. And for the DOB also, you have to enter the data in the proper format like month, date, and year. Yeah. And the select the gender, uh, select the gender, and the ten digit mobile number. Info also. Okay, click on the sign up. So my username was. So just check the database, the data is displayed there. So you can see the new record is there, is new at the register. So now switch to sign up and so now let's uh, move to the sign in and sign in as a new user. So you can see the record is set there. And um, just check the user new at the register. Okay, fine. And click on sign in. So now I can I go to sign and select I can change the book the list so which right now i can say uh say uh, i will book any product as well as this user when i click on the shop and <clears throat> i can see the product so i'm going to select this product and uh, for example I'm going to select this, this product so it will redirect to the card menu when i click on the add card and now i'm going to check the card list you can see the new card code is there so now I can book the for this product. So when I click on the book, I can I have to enter the email ID here. So I'm gonna enter email at gmail.com and the pin code. So the pin code, the landmark, and many other ideas. So when I confirm a payment, so I need to enter the card detail here. So I'm gonna enter some dummy detail and the card order name. MM years so 2023 CCB number CCB number book So your order display successfully. Now I've checked the book order. So you can see you can see the data is available in the book. So now if I gonna log in as an admin and check this record is the entry is there. So admin can check or track the book records in the book list. And you can see the t-shirt for minus both. So you can see the product is added there. So you can add any product. You can uh, manipulate the data from the back end also. You can add the data as and you can add the data as a uh, admin also. And you can buy a product as a user. So 
this is all about the online sports shop and uh, let's talk some features and functionality in detail so i will provide the one link in the description box which will be this so you can view the product read about the technology or how can you use this project so it can be your minor project your major project for the final year student or if you want uh, learning some on java web application development which is how the things is work how things are related and how the industry work uh, in the java so <clears throat> you can use this project and this is a project overview you can read it out and the modules the main modules that we are using in this project is login registration product payment and part and tools and technology the most important things let's talk about the about the technology and tools that we are using so we are using html and css for the front end view also we are using food script so on um, like the visuals and for the server side it's using um, servlet and some jsps uh, a jsp is a common for the front end and the server side as well so it's using JSP, HTML, and CSS for the front end and serving it for the server side to manage the database. It's using MySQL and uh, with JDBC. And it's using Tomcat server to deploy the application. You can run uh, as an IDE, you can use as an IDE, STS tool, Eclipse, or NetBeans, and any operating system you can use accordingly. So as you see now, I'm using Eclipse there. So, sir, these are the hardware requirements. Now, the first thing, how can you get the source code? You can Skype me on this ID, or uh, you can mail me on this ID, jcode1.gmail.com, that you can WhatsApp me on this number. And the initial cost will be for this project will be 800 INR, or uh, it will be for converting a dollar USD, it will be $12 or something. So, you can just mail me and <coughs> provide this. Um, you can uh, mail me for the requirement so we'll share the source code and in this with the source code we'll provide the project report and the complete configuration support initially when you buy this project we'll provide the configuration video so this will be your tutorial to run the project at your machine so we'll cover all the steps from the sketch to install all the required software and run the project so videos also there and the steps also the written also in case if you stuck somewhere during this configuration uh, we'll provide the remote support also using zoom or any desk any kind of remote software so we can connect my team member will connect with you and um, configure the complete project and if there is any error there we will support to solve that error and make it run as well in this video uh, so if you need you can contact over the j at gmail.com so we'll happy to help you thank you for watching and please subscribe the code one to more technical videos or more video related to the java programming or automation